Hmm, when is the best time of day to make cold calls? Let's find out. What up, what up, what up guys? Ricky Carruth here, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to talk to you about when the best time of day, what day, when is the best time to actually make all these cold calls that Ricky's talking about, right? If you're new here, nice to meet you, welcome to the family. What I do is I provide 100% free real estate coaching for real estate agents all over the world in a mission to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry one agent at a time. So welcome, if there's anything I could do for you, just reach out, you can hit a comment below this video or shoot me a DM on Instagram, I answer every single DM, that's at Ricky Carruth. So a big part of my success in real estate is cold calling, but not just cold calling, warm calling as well. But what I want you guys to know right now is kind of a side note, is that I'm not necessarily 100% a phone call guy. I am a communication guy. I believe that, and what I want to teach you is how to effectively communicate who you are as a person, that you care about people, that you're dependable, hardworking, knowledgeable, professional. I want you to share all that and be able to communicate all that to your prospects, even your friends and family. I want them to know who you are so that you can use your personality as your strength to win clients, to, to create business, and to become successful. I think that's a big differentiator in most coaching programs that puts real estate agents in a box and says that you need to say this every single time, you need to follow up with these clients exactly this way when everybody's different, right? Every real estate agent has a different personality, so how can you expect everybody to say the same things? And every prospect has different needs that need to be followed up on differently. So how can you have the same exact follow-up system for every single lead? So I wanna teach you how to read people, how to help people, and like I said, use your personality and your work ethic as your strength to win that business. Verbal communication, voice to voice, in my opinion, is the reason why technology is not gonna replace real estate agents. Because there has to be that, that human to human connection. Okay, there has to be that consultation through the local markets that are ever changing by the minute Deals are happening right before our eyes, and those deals are dictating where the market is, is going, right? And us as real estate agents, we know this. We have the inside information because we are doing the deals. Before I get into what the best time of day to call is, if you want to join the absolutely free real estate coaching program, that's at zero to diamond.com. You can download all the scripts. There's a 90 day action plan. There's videos of me making real cold calls. There's a complete course and we do live training twice a month. Within the course, you learn all of my systems. You learn how to find the phone numbers. There's a dialer system that you can have a discount on. You also learn how I follow up with people through my weekly email. There's a video tutorial on how I build it and the programs I use, the whole nine yards. So it's laid out there for you exactly how I built my business and I just wanna share it with you and hopefully you take it and run with it and go dominate your market. If you're getting anything out of my coaching program, if you're enjoying my videos, if I'm helping you in any way, give me a like on this video and comment something below. Nice video, thanks Ricky, give me some real feedback, a video you wanna see me make in the future, any little like and comment helps. So I get this question all the time, Ricky, when is the best time to make calls? So, I've made over 100,000 cold calls in my career, and I've made them at all different times of the day and on different days. I've done very few calls on the weekends. I don't think I've ever called on Sunday, to be honest with you. I've called on Saturdays, I know. I may have called on Sunday a couple times early in my career. I don't recall exactly, but I know I've called at all hours during the day, during the week. And what I ended up realizing is that my best times to call was literally in the morning between 9 and 12. Okay, between 9 and 12 is when my mind is the sharpest. That's when I'm the wittiest. That's when I can really be on top of my game. I can really get in there. I'm better at reading people. Um, I'm, just, I'm just overall a little bit better and mentally in a better position to talk to people for the first time and give that first impression. We're giving first impressions here. And so we wanna be at the highest level capacity that we can be. What people don't realize is after lunch, 
your mind, as the day goes on, starts to become mentally fatigued. And the more and more the day goes on, the more and more mentally fatigued you become. You don't realize it, but you are, little by little. And when I realized this, and I, I used to make calls later in the day, you know, three to five, three to six, you know, four to six, and I would have pretty good pickup rate, but I wouldn't necessarily be on top of my game, and I wanted to be on top of my game whenever I was talking to new prospects. So I decided to start making my calls between 9 and 12, and that was kind of my bread and butter. So between 9 and 12 does a lot for me. For one, like I said, I'm on top of my game. I also knock out the calls in the beginning of the day and get that behind me, whereas the rest of the day, I can just continue crushing whatever little things I need to, appointments or the emails or postcards or whatever I'm trying to do, all the stuff that actually matters after the calls. One problem is people are prioritizing the calls after other things when the call should be the number one priority. That's what's going to create the relationships. That's what's going to create the business Okay, and give you momentum that you need. Also, I think consistency of the calls. That's why I came up with the three by three make calls three times a week, three hours a day, okay? And I like, I like to tell people to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, okay? Nine to 12, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That way, if you have to show property on Tuesday and you miss that day, you can make it up on Thursday or Friday. Or if you miss two days in the beginning of the week, you make them up on the, at the end of the week, okay? So this gives you an opportunity to really get those three sessions in for three hours per week and that's all you need to take your business to, to places that you never even dream possible. Now let's talk about my time that I like to make calls, 9 to 12. It has to be the worst time, right, for pickup rates. I mean, that has to be absolutely the worst time to make calls in terms of pickup rates. But if you notice my business, I'm doing 100 deals a year and have been for the last five years running, still doing 100 deals a year. If I can succeed by making calls between 9 and 12, which is the worst time to make calls, I would think, then that tells me that it doesn't matter what time of day you make your calls. I think agents put restrictions on themselves about what are the best time to make calls. And so if they pass that time frame for the day, they, you know, they got busy, they're not going to make their calls. Huge mistake. I think it's almost a cop out. It's an excuse, in my opinion. Make calls any time of day any time of day. Time blocking is your friend and you want to do the three by three. Three times a week, three hours per session. Okay, put the work in. If you do this and, and you start building that database, you're using the Zero to Diamond program to create those relationships and get those emails and do those weekly emails and continue helping people, have the right intentions, go after the relationship, not the deal, and figure out how you can actually help people short and long term and you do this consistently, you are going to build the biggest business. Like I said, it'll be, it'll be so enormous, it will blow your mind and how quickly you can build it. If you did this for just a year, it would be life-changing. If you would do this for two years, it would be more than life-changing. And just think about three, four, and five years down the road if you did this, incredible, incredible growth. And I literally believe pretty much any agent, if they will follow my plan and do this three by three method for three to five years, you will be the number one agent in your area, right? Remember my definition of market share. It's not how many transactions, listings, closings you have. It's how many real lifelong relationships you have with property owners in your area, okay? Regardless if they want to do a deal or not, when you create that relationship, and you build that and you nurture that through the weekly email, which is a safety net on the back of your prop, uh, back of your business, then you're creating what is going to be the largest real estate business in your market, okay? Because you're gonna own all the market share. So I hope this video helps you realize that it doesn't matter what time of day that you make your calls. It, I hope it helps you realize that you do need to make your calls. And like I said, it could be, cold calls, warm calls, it doesn't matter to me where you get your leads. You can get your leads on Facebook, Zillow, Sphere of Influence, For Sale by Owners, Expire, Circle Prospecting, whatever the case may be, open houses, but you need to have a list of phone numbers to call and you need to check on these people. Make sure they're doing okay, um, see, how they're, see how they're doing and what you can do to help them. Remember my famous line, what in the world can I do for you? And I'm gonna ask you the same thing right now and if there's anything 
anything I can do for you, that's what I'm here for. Hit me up on Instagram. Give me a like. Give me a comment. Give me a subscribe. Hit the bell. Talk to you soon.